too early for me to be up. But given Jason just opened the garage door, I think that's my sign. I have to go and take him to get a rental car. So let's go. Most of my kids are awake. Ashley is not. So I don't know how they get up this early. Okay, I we're looking at two different reservations for this car and he couldn't find an email for it because we booked it through his annex. And so he, I looked at it on his account and all of a sudden it said it was picking up at the SeaTac airport, which is so not okay. And uh, I picked a location like literally 10 minutes away. And then, <laughs> so we're freaking out. And he found the original email from the confirmation at the actual location. So we literally have two confirmations for the same dates, two different, <sighs> locations. I, if they don't have this car, he's going to lose it. And I'm going to lose it because I'm not going to have a car all week. And they better not have double charged us. So, I gotta go. Okay, hopefully this works. Come out and let me know. I won't leave. Oh, yeah, yeah. And double check that they don't have a second reservation at SeaTac today. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Okay. Right, I'll be right back. So I made this reservation for him and that might be his car. I was gonna like reserve like this pimpin' car because a lot of the cars were like the same price per day. <laughs> I think I just got him that little Miata. Not a Miata. I, anyway, I could have gotten him some little sporty car or whatever, but I just got him a little Econo car because he has to drive a ton and uh, I didn't want to have to make him pay a ton more in gas. So I could have gotten him like a big huge truck like that, right? I could have. <laughs> There's like a couple trucks that I could have picked from. But at the same time we were making this reservation last night, we were making the reservation for our car for Hawaii. And he has like the Hertz gold member account and uh, it gives you a pretty good discount. And so anyway, we were looking for both cars and I'm I don't think I messed this up. I, I did one at a time, even though I was kind of pricing both of them. I did one reservation at a time. I hope I didn't mess it up. But uh, anyway, it was so fun to book the car for our trip, finally, knowing that we have cured our airfare. That's, I don't know why I travel. We are smart people. And like, it's not because we don't know how to book travel. It's just every time we do something, there's a glitch. There's a glitch in the system. There's a glitch in their website. I don't even, so stuff like this happens every time we book. It always works out and we'd rather have the glitches before we go than like end up in Hawaii with like a hurricane like our friends have had. <laughs> they got stuck at the Disney Resort during the hurricanes and couldn't leave their bedroom. So we'd rather have the glitches beforehand. But just, we'll talk about it more later when we uh, get ready for our trip to Hawaii, but we usually get a minivan for when, they, when we go with the kids because it's just easier to get in and out of the car and it's cheaper than an SUV and we need the, a full six seat so we can't even do like the mini SUV. Hang on. So let's go over and see what car he gets. So they aren't getting that cute little red one right there. That's unfortunate. That would have been kind of funny. What are they gonna get? I could have gotten the big huge we call that a basic Mormon wagon right there, a BMW. We, that's what we called big vans when we were growing up. <laughs> yeah, we have a BMW. Yeah, it's not. Let's see, what do we got? Ooh, he's got a nice little one right there. Little white one. Oh no, little, little Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi right there. Just gonna document that that has been in a crash right there. You can see the left side has a little crash in it. So hopefully he will look around the car as well and prove that we did not do that. Okay. Yeah, all worked out. Okay, have your fun little joyride right there. <laughs> joyride. <laughs> your little Mitsubishi. <laughs> I could have gotten in that Audi, but it was more. Yeah, you're gonna need it in that Mitsubishi. <laughs> okay, he's headed off to go to work. And I'm going to head over there. <laughs> I'm gonna go and surprise Ashley with a hash brown and an orange juice for breakfast. So Chelsea just barely got on the bus. Kinda of had to leave those two home alone for a second. Well, we ran and did this, but Ashley is, I need to run home to her, but I'm gonna surprise her with this. Hopefully she'll be excited to get up and eat. Please get, walk with me side by side. 
Hi, boo. We did braids in her hair again last night. So she's got little wavies. She's mad that the bottoms are a little straight because that's where the ponytail goes. Do you want me to put it into a little ponytail at the top or you like it like that? I like it like that. All right. So I got her a little surprise and myself a little pick-me-up. Where did you go? I took Daddy to get his rental car because his car is getting fixed. And I got you a... A hash brown. Is that yummy? Yeah, I'm sorry. I know. All right, I'll get you your medicine, and there's your breakfast, right? She's really good at taking her medicine, you guys. You ask about how she's doing with it, and she's doing really good because she knows that it is working, right? Yeah. Does it make your tummy feel better? It yeah, I don't even know the last time you complained about it. So we still do a little bit of vitamin water. She doesn't like to drink as we try and make the least amount possible that she has to kind of drink through, right? Right. Also, we've been doing the full cap full. Well, uh, no, up to the white line. Yeah, it is. No, like all the way to the top. Oh, uh, that white line? Yeah, because we're not getting all the way to this school day. Yeah. Yep, go ahead and dump it in. Yeah, you got it on the side, Goober. Mm. Now you got to get all those. Yeah, okay. Little particles to, uh... Okay, and then we got her little pill. We'll take that. So Ashley is also doing well with her new job around the house, right? Yeah. Her new chore is to load dishes. And she's really good about loading them all day long, aren't you? She'll come into the room and she'll say, Oh, there's more dishes yes, to load. I don't want to lick it because it... Oh, you don't want to... Oh, yeah. It's annoying. It's true. So you load a few, like you just did now. And then you don't have to worry about it. It's not ready to start. It's not full. But you are being very responsible with that and appreciate it. And also, it's hard because um, Abby puts everything in the wrong place. So you can't find them. Yeah, Abby is learning how to unload, right? Yeah, we lost some pots the other day. This pot right here was sandwiched between this one and a larger pot. And no one could find it. Because <laughs> it was in the bottom of the big, huge pot. So, everyone is learning their new chore, right? Yeah. Chelsea. Chelsea's chore is to now sweep the floors every single day and sometimes twice a day. Here's your mask, boo. And uh, don't, don't, don't tell her this, but <laughs> the first day she switched chores, normally that was Kaylee's chore. Yeah. The day she switched them was a Saturday for whatever reason. It was just a good day to do it. And so she did it and I was like, okay, Saturday is the day you mop the floors as well. She's been mopping the floors every day, and I'm not saying a thing. <laughs> Wait, she is? Yeah, and I'm not going to say a word. You tell her, and I'm going to double your chores, Ashley, <laughs> because she's so diligent with it. She is such a good kiddo. You are too, Ashley, yeah. but she is such a good kid, and I, I mean, I, came, I come down every morning or every evening, and Swiffer wipes are out, and she has mopped the floors and swept them. And I know she's, again, like, this is why we gave Kaylee the task way back when, because, you know, if, if they're, they don't have as strong a hands to, like, use the mop, but the more often they're doing it, you know, it's going to get done. The floors are actually going to get cleaned. Anyway, and that's the same with Chelsea. She doesn't have a strong arm to really, like, get in the major grossness of the floors. But if she's doing it every day, then they actually are getting pretty clean. <laughs> so don't you dare tell her. I will. It's only a Saturday portion to do the mopping. Funny, I was like, did she, you know, like the second and the third day, I was like, wait, why is the mop out again? <laughs> anyway, so she's doing a really good job at well, using the mop. Clean, well, yeah, and now the floors are actually pretty clean. And I don't have to ask her. That's the nicest thing about kids and their chores is when mom doesn't have to remind you. <laughs> silent. Absolute silence. Okay. Have a good day at school. You can see a parent down there, right? Okay. Bye. I'm not going down because I don't have a bra on. <laughs> I did not get dressed. I'm going to go get in the shower now. Just watching her make sure she gets down to the adults down there. She'll be fine. All right, so I'm getting ready for tonight, and I went to put this nail polish box in my car. 
And it looks like my nail polish remover has slowly leaked in the bottom of my bin. So I'm going to go and clean this guy out. Also, did you really think I wouldn't have a bin just for nail polish? <laughs> I do. It actually comes in handy because if you've ever put all of the nail polish like in one drawer and then it smells like it stinks up your bathroom, yeah, you can contain it in a bucket. So that's why I do that. And I can always tell when someone has come down to do their nails because I can smell it. And I'm like, get that lid on tight. <laughs> so we're gonna clean this guy out. Oh, I just got the paper all dirty, they're all wet. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Uh, casualty. <laughs> I wonder if I have any more of that paper. I always, I'll show you my bucket. If you are new, I, anyway. So I'm just gonna get this kind of scrubbed out here and cleaned up. Also, I have showered and cleaned up myself. Felt really nice. I'm glad I waited until after Ashley went to school. Then I could take my time and not worry about her too, too much. Let's get this rinsed out. All right, let's put these guys back in here. I would sort them, but I don't feel like that. Maybe when we get home. I do have gel nail polish and I have like regular nail polish, but we're kind of getting more of the gel polish to do here at home though. Let's stick that down in there. The cord for that is like stuck behind here and I don't want to pull it out right now. So I'm just going to leave it there. Plus then, then none of the kids will be tempted to do gel nail polish because that is way too long. So that's that is now ready. And I don't think I'm gonna put this back in. Maybe I'll store that somewhere else because it just keeps leaking. But this can now go. See now it doesn't have a cute little paper on the front like all my other ones do. So I need to go and find like that paper is what it was or like a scrap of one of the others. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that now but it's gonna stick out like a sore throne without it. All right, so I've been editing like crazy. Been doing two different videos but um, also right in the middle of doing those videos I got two packages. One from Shein, I think that's what everyone says, Shein. And then the other one from Amazon, I think. So these are shorts for Chelsea. Like she is so crazy. She's like, mom, I can't wait till my birthday to get shorts. <laughs> I really have shorts for her, for her birthday, but I just, I get so hot. Anyway, so she has shorts now. We get a big bundle of them. Abby has more shorts coming for herself. And then I also, so in the Shein order, she got some dress pants for church. Another cultural thing at our church, if you watched that video, you don't actually have to wear a dress to church. There's nothing in the rules. It's a cultural thing that we've worn dresses to church for centuries. <laughs> You don't actually have to. And she has pants that she has been wearing. I actually didn't even wake her up to go to church on Sunday because I knew that she wouldn't wear the pants she currently has because they're too cold. The material is too thin and they were good for the summer and then the spring and then the summer and then like start of the fall and then it's just been too cold to wear them during the winter. And so I, anyway, I didn't, I knew that these weren't coming in time. Church on Sunday. Anyway, so those came and then a whole bunch of birthday presents. And I kind of snuck in, if you've never ordered anything from Shein, it is dirt cheap crap from China. But for teenagers and for little kids who just fly through clothes and there's a good chance, like Chelsea, these shorts will not get passed down. She will wear these down to a thread. Like they will not be hand-me-downs. Anyway, but also like super cheap jewelry. And I'm not gonna show the kids these. This is jewelry I got for myself. It's literally like a three pack for $1.50. It is the most cheap jewelry. I don't buy expensive jewelry. It's not my thing, but I got that for our trip to Hawaii because I just, it's just a splurge and it was only a dollar and it's gonna be super fun. But I also got some presents for the girls and that was kind of fun to like open everything up. And I also got swimsuits for our trip to Hawaii. And again, those are stay being saved for right before we go to Hawaii and also um, for their birthdays. So I'm not gonna show the girls, I don't know. I, I, I might actually have to show some of the swimsuits um, ahead of time because Chelsea has now, I've gotten two 
pairs of swimsuits for Chelsea and she's tried them both on and they haven't fit, which is why I currently have a package to go back to Shein and the pants. We got Abby up another pair of pants. We've already attempted this twice for each one of them. They just didn't fit and they were too long and they were too bulky. And so anyway, I'm going to return those. Um, so I have to take this to the post office. I could not, I missed the mailman. She actually delivered one of my packages to the door and I was like, oh shoot, I could have given this to her. And I totally missed her. And uh, I'm going to take my nail stuff out later, but so I'm going to go and return this. But I do need to have the girls try some of their stuff on tonight or soon because we're not having good luck on ordering these swimsuits and I kind of need to know, hang on one second, if they're going to have a swimsuit. Can't really wait until their birthdays because it's the it's five days before our trip and three days before our trip. <laughs> I can't wait till then. So case in point, this is the bottoms of one of Chelsea's swimsuits that do not fit, but the top fit and it's so cheap. It was probably $5. So it doesn't really matter that the bottoms don't fit, but I can't return like half of a swimsuit. And then this is the other bottom of one of the other set that don't fit. And so <laughs> it's like, I've got two bottoms that don't work and I can't return them. And then the tops do. So literally so cheap. I'll just donate those. Not a big deal, but let's go take this and then out here, I kind of cleaned things up a bit. I had a whole stack of donation stuff here. Halloween stuff that wasn't put away. Christmas lights that just came off of the house because the HOA sent us a letter to <laughs> get us in trouble. So I've straightened up this area and I have a whole set of stuff to donate. So we're gonna do that as well. And yes, I am acclimating my feet to flip flops because I don't want to have, one, I'm kind of getting sick of wearing socks. But it's also because my brother who just went to Hawaii, I just convinced him to go um, to Maui. Talk about that here in a second. But he <laughs> ruined his feet wearing his Tiva sandals. They're good sandals, but he didn't wear them before he left. Tore his feet up just walking around Costco the first day they were there. <laughs> So oh bad. He had to wear socks with his sandals for like two days because he couldn't walk. His feet were so blistered and torn up. I'm not gonna have sore feet that aren't used to flip flop. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> yes, I'm wearing flip flops and I'm freezing cold, but I'm not gonna have sore feet. And I think I'm gonna start wearing my UFOs again because I'm sensing that I have some arch issues with my feet. Oh, God, I can't even stop shaking. <laughs> So cold. Once you get a little shiver in you, you can't like let it go. Just so I'm not pretending I'm like I'm totally fine wearing flip flops. I I'm not. <laughs> I have all the heat on my feet right now. All right, we are getting ready to head to our activity. I spent all day editing and working on the computer, getting pretty caught up and pretty ahead of the game, which is nice. And I filmed two TikTok. One TikTok, but it was longer than three minutes, so I had to film a second one. If you want to go check that out, it's under the same name, Dana Create. Just starting a. I'll tell my Little no, it's not for your friends. It's for your mamas. It's for people who are older. Tell her if I do anything funny, Chels. I will let her know if it's on there. She won't be interested in what I'm saying over there. It's not a kid one. Anyway, we're gonna head over to the church. I will show you our little setup and Ash getting her nails painted. Obviously, I can't show the other kids, and maybe I won't even be able to show Ashley during the activity because it gets kind of busy and chaotic. But we will show you as much of the process as we can and. I don't know what else to say. This car is facing the wrong direction. Hang on. Okay, you have fun? Huh? Yeah. Yeah? What did you do for your activity, Tell We did get to know us, um, and then the other group gave us cookies. And brownies and Yum. other treats. Are you going to share with your mom? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Really? You are? I think that's the right one. Is this a joke? No. Is it a joke? Eat it. Eat it. I don't actually know what's in it. Darn it. Is it the one? No. Oh, it's a ball. There's a rubber ball in it. <gasps> oh, okay then. <laughs> there, uh, no, no, that's you a Brussels sprout. Oh, that's so <laughs> nasty. <laughs> You little twit. <laughs> I shouldn't have told you. <laughs> well, you can't actually bite through it. Yeah, you can. No, it, ew, gross. It was kind of squishy. Yeah. It was fun for Ashley's activity, but we had a girl show up that I didn't know was in our class. She hasn't come for any of our activities so far and then just showed up today. And she is, in fact, in our class. So it meant that this girl didn't get a bag. Yeah. If the dollar store is open right now. Can we just go to McDonald's? No, we can't just go to McDonald's. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that soon. <laughs> 
six, no. Wait, but actually, I will take tomorrow's Wednesday. We'll just go tomorrow. Can I go? Because actually, I wanted the pink color. One of the girls got a pink nail polish, and it had a cool, like, marbly, purple okay. colored tint to it, which was kind of cool. Metallic, little metallic hint. So we're gonna say goodnight to you guys. That was a very fun activity. It was very hands-on, no pun intended. Except for the <laughs> toilet calling. Oh yeah, that was a funny what? moment. <laughs> <laughs> the toilet overflow, it didn't overflow. It was clogged and the girls were very confused and concerned because there was red things in the toilet. <laughs> And we told them to go home and talk to their moms about that. So uh, that was quite the conversation among nine, nine year olds. So um, we are gonna say goodnight to you guys and that was a really fun activity. Thanks for being patient, Ashley. She was the last one to get her nails done. Well, so everyone was like, oh, have you gone back? And I was like, do I say yes or do I say no? Say what? Like when they asked me what, if I had a bag cause they were probably gonna give it to me if I didn't. I know. So, so. she's a good sport. I'll get you a new one and we'll say goodnight to you guys. Happy.